Hi, beautiful. How are we today? Ooh, you look amazing. Thank you for being here. 2020 has brought us a lot of things we didn't ask for, but some treats. <laughs> One of those treats being a lot of new hair fails. <laughs> really, really, really terrible ones. Actually, I'm pretty sure all these bleach fails are just getting worse and worse and worse. Am I the reason for that? We may never know. So today I heard that this video is really wild. We're watching one person today and if you know my channel I haven't watched just one person's video in a hairdresser reacts in a long time well maybe like one here and there today's video is a three-part saga and it gets wild from what I'm told by a lot of people who have sent me this in DMs and uh, thank you guys for sending me really up videos all the time I really appreciate it sometimes they're hard to find and I feel like today's is gonna be really really interesting so let's watch it and see what happens let's get it started Sorry, wait, hold on. Before we actually watch this video, I wanted to talk about something exciting. When I was in hair school, I used to go to this show called The Beauty Experience New York. It's a huge expo of all hair and beauty stuff. And this year I have my own booth there for my brand X Mondo. So if you guys would like to come and meet me and take some pictures, I will be there and we will be giving away free stuff. You'll have to come and see what that is, but it's exciting. So if you live around the New York City area, please come and say hi. Um, if you're gonna be there, please come to my booth. I would love to see you and meet you. And one other exciting thing is if you would like to go and would like some free passes, <laughs> I can potentially help you with that. You guys know I love to do giveaways, so I will be doing one for this also. I'll be giving one person two free all access passes to the Beauty Experience New York to come and meet me, come and say hi, take a picture, grab some free swag from Ex Mondo. It'll be so much fun. And you guys know when I do giveaways, they are so easy to enter. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, GrabMondoNYC, and follow my hair care brand, Ex Mondo Hair, and just show me that you wanna win in any which way you want. That's up to you. And the giveaway will close on March 8th, which is one week from today. So if you would like to enter, get on it. And I'll post the winner on my Instagram story on that day. And I will notify you if you win. So good luck. And I cannot wait to meet you guys at the Beauty Experience New York. It's gonna be so much fun. It's my first kind of X Mondo pop-up. So ooh, this is very exciting for me and very full circle. So yee, I'm excited. All right back to what you came here for. All right, so the video is called Hair Bleach Fail, and this is part uno. This is by a girl named Bailey, or Baylia, not sure. Uh, Baylia Wilk, take it or leave it. That is her name, and this is her video, and let's see what the f happens. I'm kind of excited, but also kind of mortified and scared. Okay, <laughs> hey guys. Let's get started, We're girl. back with another video. Lexi's back too. Hi. And... We're bleaching our hair. <laughs> so we're in the Walmart parking lot right now and we're gonna go look for some dye. Some bleach. Why are we looking for dye at Walmart? Why? What's going on there? Like, I'm like, she's I'm really like, pretty yeah. hair. She's I'm about to f it up. I, mean, I already know it. Because if this goes really bad, it's gonna be really bad. <laughs> and then we go to the dollar store and. Yeah, we dye back. <laughs> we dye back. That's not how this works. It's not. You can't just dye it back and then there goes all the damage it's all gone and then you know you're all good all of a sudden it's not how it works we love a box dye yeah. <laughs> oh, um, now, so she's like a level four and if you don't know what a level four is it's just a very dark brown her hair is so shiny it looks like virgin hair we love some virgin hair and she's about to bleach it with box dye <laughs> And she probably has no idea what she's doing. Not gonna lie, on my way here, I was like 100% myself. Yeah, so we got paintbrushes because we couldn't find an actual thing. And then, um, tinfoil. Okay, so this is the stuff we're using. It says we can go from this color to this color. In what world are we doing that with one box color? One session? How are they not getting sued left and right for these claims they put on box dyes? It just doesn't make sense to me. We're sectioning? Great. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 
ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my We're God. putting foils down? Okay. That entire thing is gonna cover her entire head. That's not gonna happen. Okay, paintbrush though. Okay, foils though. Actually, not a bad technique. We know maybe a thing or two. Of course, it's not the prettiest way of doing things. Of course, she's not doing it that well, but at least she's not going up to the root and she's using foil, which is good because it's gonna uh, incubate. It's going to keep that heat in and it's going to process the ends much faster. It's gonna provide a much cleaner lift. I would totally use foils if I was lightening this girl's hair because her hair is really dark. She's taking really big sections. Usually the sections would be extremely Wait, fine. There's gonna be a lot of spotting, I'm sure. So we've been sitting here for about like <laughs> Not the minutes, worst thing I've ever seen though. My hair is still getting lighter, but like here's a little sneak peek. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's been in for about an hour and 10 minutes and these bottom pieces have- An hour and 10 minutes? Okay. 45 to an hour would've been good. So far, it's looking so bad. I was so wrong. I thought it looked decent. We were on to such a great start and then she pulled out those foils and we now see the damage that has been done. Very difficult to reverse damage that she has placed on her head. It looks terrible. Terrible. I mean, she literally missed every spot. It is so dark in some places. It is so light in some places. And that's the worst position to be in. It's really hard to correct. I don't have much hope, so. So I'm gonna shower, shampoo really hard. Don't, I'm gonna put in the conditioner, don't do that. Wash out the conditioner and I'll be back. Don't shampoo your head really hard. Your hair was just bleached and you don't wanna make little abrasions on your scalp. Okay. So, not gonna lie. Kind of botch. Um, it's blotchy as hell. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Ooh! I thought we skipped the roots. What happened? I really didn't think it was gonna come out this bad. This is really bad and it also just doesn't look that light and I'm very puzzled by it because I feel like it was a lot lighter before uh, we, they predicted the foils out. I don't know. It just looks like awful. <laughs> um, sorry, but... <laughs> Okay. So I think tomorrow Lexi and I are gonna get together in the morning and we're gonna try and re-dye You're letting her do your hair again? Lexi, stop. <laughs> oh! Okay, so I'm picking up Lexi right you now. You should just stop here, here girl. Get into my car and this is her first time seeing my hair in person. I'm not looking at So, it. okay, Lexi, <laughs> it's like bad. <laughs> Yeah, it looked better wet. Okay, but we can fix it. Okay, so we're in Target. Lexi is okay. so confident I'm living for. It. She has the confidence I aspire to have when I'm doing things that I have no idea how to do. We're back at Lexi's round two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, we got three things worth of bleach. Do you see how like it's blah, like it's lighter and then it's darker? Yeah. Right there? So if Lexi doesn't apply this lightener strategically and place it only on the darker spots, if she does end up overlapping on some of this really light hair, her hair is going to get fried. I don't know what developer is in this solution they're using, but I'm pretty sure it's probably over 30 volume or 30 volume. And that over some of those light bits are going to absolutely fry her hair. And I'm guessing she's just gonna apply apply the lightener all over the entire head and see what happens. So, cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 cool. I can't wait to see this application method. Where are we going? Where? Right over the damn roots again. What the bleep? Why are we doing it all over the roots again? Why are we doing that? She does look fierce as a blonde though. I'm not gonna lie. Like that hair pulled back like that. Okay. Okay, Lexi's gonna take a look, see the progress. It's been about 25 minutes. Confident Lexi, we love oh, you, girl. We love good. you, girl. It actually doesn't look good, Lexi. Um, it actually oh, yeah, looks Lexi. still very spotty. But I wouldn't leave it on any longer because her hair on her scalp is gonna come off because you just overlapped lightener on her head. Lexi, God love ya. Maybe this will help even it out a bit, you know? Yeah. This is definitely an improvement by far. She just started brushing it. <laughs> Maybe this will help it eat. I am mad at Lexi. Is there nothing we can yeah, do about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say we give it like 15 more minutes okay, and then yeah. we wash it out. I love hairstylist Lexi. She is a pro. The big reveal. So I have yet to see my hair. <sighs> I'm, not I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I am not ready. 
Oh my gosh, okay. I'm not ready! It's probably still gonna look bad because it's wet. Do you have... Okay, can I use this? The oh, back wait. is so blonde. <laughs> Holy... I don't think it'll be this orange. I don't think it will. <coughs> can I use the conditioner a couple yeah, times? Yeah, a couple times. Oh my god, this is platinum though. <laughs> Like, it almost seems like they're pranking me. But I know they're not. I know they're dead serious. Listen, girl, love you. I'm sure you're watching. You, you, you're fabulous. You're beautiful. But, um, conditioner? <clears throat> It's not gonna save your hair right now. It's not. You're using conditioner twice. It's not gonna make your hair blonder. Your hair is wrecked. And there's no, like, brown spots, you oh, know? Oh, that's good. That's good. God damn it. Why didn't it all turn oh, out like okay. this? Okay. Because you didn't do it correctly. Okay, yeah. We gotta wait till it dries. <laughs> do you hate it? I'm like kind of thinking I'm a ginger right now. <laughs> when you're doing it this cheap, it's yeah. a process. I mean, it's definitely a look. Okay, I feel a lot better now that it's drying. because yeah. It looks a lot better. Like, okay, it's definitely like more even. It's more even than orange. Oh yeah, 100%. for sure. For sure. Loki, why am I kind of vibing? Yeah, I know. I'm obsessed with how optimistic they are. I'm obsessed with them. And it's not wet, but it's like. Damp. Damp. I don't know if we should try and start straightening my hair now. <laughs> so they start straightening her wet hair. It actually doesn't look horrible. This lighting, I've not seen it in other lightings, but what I can see from my phone right now, I would give it like... Mm, Seven? Hey! Generous. I'm happy with it. We love a generous Nine sister. Five and a half. Really? Well, you looked like you hated it. No, it just, I just, it just need time. Is it like off? It okay, just, we should really. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So okay. maybe we'll lighten it. Who knows? Oh, it's so, so orange. Oh. This is what it looks like. Hi, Dad. In natural light. Okay, so that was the end of part. One. There is three parts to this. Ooh. I'm feeling like this is gonna get really juicy. Basically because the thumbnail says I'm bald. Okay, so we have a little bit of a root going on now. You can already see my roots are already back in. It's been a while. Johnson's here. But yeah, we're gonna fix my hair. This girl don't give a <laughs> And I kind of with it. So now we're here applying more of the box bleach onto the same hair she just bleached twice and the hair that cannot handle any more lightning. It can't, it can't handle it. It is gonna snap off and it's not gonna be cute. This is gonna be a, a disaster, 100%. We are reapplying. Okay, I've, been, I've been forgetting to uh, record. But right now she's toning my hair. Toning? I don't know, but something is going on that head and it looks not safe. No, it looks like it's T18 with probably 30 volume, which, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe how much bleach, how much lightener she's put on her head. And this is gonna be definitely one of the messiest moments we've ever seen on Hairdresser Reacts. I'm already calling it out. I feel this is gonna be Tragic. Okay, guys, we're back at it. Don't this tell is me. Two days after. Don't she tell me. In my hair. Don't. So we're just touching up the roots, and then she's gonna go over pieces that like need to be, I don't know, redone, and Water. then yeah, and yeah, we just found a chunk of hair that was like out. <laughs> so. Like what happens when you bleach your hair four times? Dude, her hair like finally looks decent. We are now on the fourth round of bleach. I actually thought that the last time would be the last, but I don't know if this is ever gonna end. I really am just not sure at this point. You guys, you can't keep putting lightener on that hair. It's going to actually fall off. Your hair can only get so light, especially when you have really dark hair. Typically it stops at a yellow orange phase and kind of never goes beyond that. Um, it's very hard to get platinum, platinum blonde hair when your hair is naturally really dark. And there's little ways of tricking the eye with toners to make it look like it's platinum when it's really not. We are applying more and 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 more lightener. <laughs> All over her scalp. Why are we putting it on her scalp though? Like that's what I don't get because the scalp was the lightest part of her hair. What makes you think you need to keep putting more lightener on the scalp? Oh, now we're doing 
a whole head again. She literally just pulled a piece of hair out of her head while she was putting color on her hair and kept going. Can we do a, a rewind of that? Can we show that again? She just pulled a piece of hair out and kept going. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Come on. I joke a lot, but I'm actually like, why are you doing this? Oh, my story. See my hair. Then I was like, no, no, this is my story. It was so no. Story. Why is this so like uh, such a joke? Like I, this is terrible. I wasn't concerned. That's why I didn't show you. Okay. I wasn't concerned. And that is why I didn't tell you what part about that much hair coming out of somebody's head while you're lightening their hair is not concerning leave a comment below and let me know Ooh, because from the root. yeah no that's a good color go ahead and okay do you just see how much hair was coming out when she did that this was the most expensive shampoo i've ever freaking bought in my life yeah i don't know it's this shimmer lights now her hair is extremely porous and then she's gonna use shimmer lights on top of her extremely porous hair which is gonna result in her hair turning purple in some spots i'm sure it's gonna be very uneven and patchy it's going to be terrible i already know it there's so much hair in there i know i feel it oh my god this is not the length of my hair ah! this is all probably gonna come out because that's not the length of my hair Yes. Oh my god, I'm getting chills, dude. My entire body has chills. <gasps> isn't funny so to me. Did the hair is falling off? <laughs> why is her lip still orange? She said, why is her hair still orange? That's because her hair can only lift to a certain point. She is Asian. Asian hair is known to not lift well. It's a lot more coarse. It's very dark. It's very difficult to lift. You can only push it to a certain point. Oh my God, you can That's see so how scared she is in her eyes. She's bald. Hey, Lisa's at the top, right? Lisa's yeah, yeah. at the top. <laughs> oh, bitch has an undercut. Oh my god, now they're putting toner on her hair with more developer. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, I think it finally set in for her. She's so upset. You promise? Yeah. Like, you're not mad at me? No. You like, promise? this was gonna happen either way. Like you 100% promise it, it wasn't. It wasn't gonna happen either way. You could have had the healthiest, blondest hair possible um, if you took the right steps. Unfortunately, you didn't, and you ended up with this. I don't mean that to make you feel bad. I just want people to know that this is not what happens when you bleach your hair. Your hair doesn't just fall out. Definitely a trooper, and she is gonna get over it. How short How short Who? Spoke it away. I'll show you. Look, the back of your hair is this thing. It's, it's like this. this. It's, it's like, like oh. your hair, and then it's just this. It's like shaved looking. Yeah. Oh, it looks like <laughs> this long of a buzz and went over your head. God, these friends are just rubbing it in. But it's like you have one right now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So if I put my hair up, you can. Yes. Look, I don't know. We don't know yet. Stop brushing your hair. Oh my God, you guys. I think that this is the worst bleach fail I've ever seen. Stop brushing your hair. When your hair is lightened to this state, it is so fragile. You have to be so delicate with it. And when it's wet, it's even more fragile. You need to let that dry as much as possible before brushing it. That way your hair fiber is at least strong enough to just stay in your head. Because at this point, it's 
really compromised. And at this point, you should probably do some protein masks. You should probably do some really heavy conditioning treatments and get it back to health. But don't overload it with protein because your hair will also snap off from that. Because right now, your cuticle is just blown open. You need to add back some of that good stuff, but not too much of it or else it'll get overfilled and it will snap off again. Like I was saying, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could. the breakage, if it would have happened anywhere else, I'm still used to your black hair for some reason. I don't mean to make you feel more bad, but it actually couldn't have been worse. So now we're cutting it. Sorry, I am like so in a, in a, in a daze right now. I just can't fathom what just happened. And so now we're going in and we're cutting it. I hope we're cu just cutting it all off. How the hell is this girl still smiling? How? I aspire to be more like you. <laughs> I aspire for the world to be more like you. This is one of the worst things that can happen and you are just sitting there smiling. Oh my God, now we have an undercut. When did that happen? <laughs> what is this? What is happening? Okay, actually from the front, it doesn't look like totally horrible. She actually looks really cute. I don't know how they pulled that off. Okay, so we end there. She didn't really show her hair, which is really annoying. They ended up like covering it a bit with the style, but this is a month, this is like a month later or something and she's gonna get a haircut. I just wanna see what's going on. We're just gonna watch this really quick and see what's up. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, she has some roots. Her hair is somehow still on her head. I really don't know how. We're gonna try and give me a haircut. It's not, it's still not gonna look good. But Why are you still not in a salon? Here's what my hair looks like right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It kind of goes across this whole section right here. And like, right here. I really believe that you would look so incredible with a shaved head. I think you should just go for it. I think that is gonna be so stress relieving for you to just shave it all off, start brand new, grow out your natural hair again, and do it right next time if you're gonna do it next time, which I wouldn't, because I would just stay away from the bleach at this point. But I think you should shave it off. I think you're so pretty naturally. I don't think you need hair. I don't, I don't think anybody really needs hair. I think it's a cool accessory, but it's just not necessary. Yeah, okay, and then here's what the back of my head looks like, guys. I don't even really know what the back of my head looks like because I never look at the back of my head. Would it be easier if I put That's so sad. I'm so sorry, babe. I don't mean to make you feel bad. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel bad. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why is it like standing like that? Yeah. Why this girl like gives like no f Why not to do that? Wait, okay. This I might be a look. look. This I might be a look, look, guys. She's like, yo, just keep f***ing up my hair. Who cares at this point? Just who cares? Oh my God. This is looking so bad. It actually looks so much better, but okay. Like short, short. That looks so cute. I wish she had real. I wish she actually had a hair in her head. Yeah, can you make it more? Yeah. Like, don't touch this. Yeah. Oh, please, you can. Oh my God, it looks better. I don't know. That's sort of where it ends. And you've heard everything I have to say already. I don't feel like repeating myself. That was quite horrendous. That's my conclusion. That was wild. I am gonna be thinking about this video for a while now. Anyways. <sighs> All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I am at a loss for words. It's very rare that I am taken aback by these videos. I've seen obviously so many over the years now with you guys, and this was probably the worst I've ever seen. Congratulations. <laughs> you really threw me for a loop on this one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at BramondoMYC. Follow my hair care brand, Xmono Hair, for fabulous, amazing hair care products. The website will be linked below also, so check it out. And don't forget to enter my giveaway if you would like to come and meet me and get some free hair products. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Viper Smoothing Oil. This oil is a combination of all of my favorites. It has bobap oil, argan oil, carrot seed oil. Now, what sets this oil apart is it really penetrates the hair cuticle. It goes deep inside. Instead of just laying on top of the hair and adding a greasy film, it's gonna actually go inside. Help supply nutrition, hydrate, and add a lot of shine.